Hello, my name is Paul Verhollick, and this is the Bespoke Multi-Touch Framework Ink Demonstration. Ink is a degenerate case of multi-touch, so I've got a multi-touch table here. You can see the various points of contact that I've got. And I've created a, a single-touch component within that uh, multi-touch framework. Now, you can see I've got, I've got several points of contact, but if I, if I reduce that to just a single point of contact, I've got a bit of visualization here that, that shows me uh, uh, stroke information, kind of uh, just uh, analogy to a pen where I'm, I'm creating a, a pen stroke uh, every time I press and then release off of the table. This application then is a training and classification system for a machine learning algorithm. And in the upper right hand corner you can see I've got a, a simple UI that shows the different symbols that I can train. So I've got A, B, C, X, Y, Z, and this is arbitrary. I can have any uh, training, uh, training symbols. And I've trained 10 samples for A, B, and C, but none for X, Y, and Z. So let's, let's, let's look at how this works. If I've got A, and I try to classify that, then uh, it classifies it as A. Uh, if, I type, if I key in B, all right, classifies it as B. And C, and then of course classifies it as C. But it, I don't know about Z yet. The machine learning algorithm hasn't been trained for Z. So if I should draw something that, that might look like a Z, um, it misclassified it. It says, hey, I don't, I don't know what a Z is. So let's train Z real quick. And I'm going to do tra 10 training samples for Z. And I've got a commit sample uh, button down here. So I'm just committing these samples to the machine learning algorithm. So that's four. And I can see the number of training samples that I've got up there. Now Z is just a single stroke. But you can see that A and B in the previous examples there, A and B were multi-stroke. So there's, uh, it's not limited to just single stroke gestures. You can have as many uh, strokes as, you, as you'd like in a particular training sample. So now that is, uh, is 10 training samples for Z. And now if I try to classify Z, sure enough, it classified it correctly as Z. So this is just a demonstration of an uh, ink uh, component that's built into the multi-touch framework.